Hello guys, Sorin here. Welcome back to our uh, next lecture from this course on uh, email marketing. We were talking about uh, get response and now I want to show you some of the options that you have with uh, with get response. Okay, first of all, I want to show you guys how you can create a form in get response, a form that you can integrate into your website to uh, to give the option to your visitors to subscribe to your newsletter. Okay, or uh, you can add it into your Facebook, uh, into your Facebook page, or in other places. Okay, you have pop-up forms. You have different things that you can use. Now let's have a look. You just click on the create form button, and as you will see, you have more options here. Okay, you have list builder apps. You have list builder wizard integrations because you can integrate get response with wordpress facebook uh, magento shops joomla okay different types of websites if you run on maybe an e-commerce site or if you run a wordpress site which probably most of the people are doing right now okay running wordpress websites get response it's actually very very uh, very well integrated with all of these platforms so if we will have a look into the list builder wizard you will see that we have many templates here and in the left part of the screen you will have all the templates and you can sort them out by the type of them okay or by the format so it's up to you but uh, for example if you go for newsletter sign up right uh, you will see some of the templates they have some great templates here as you can see I personally like them very much and you can't see this type of templates okay so well done in uh, in free services so this is a huge advantage for somebody that that doesn't have maybe design knowledge or technical knowledge to create this type of forms okay because it's actually very very easy to use get response to create them okay you just for example let's choose this template you just uh, press on a template use them and after that uh, you will have an, uh, a web form editor okay uh, now the web form editor it's opened and you can edit practically any part that you want for example if you want to edit the title you just press on the title here okay now you can see that i can edit the text here okay i just okay i i'm just typing something out okay for for an example for you guys you can add different fields to your to your web form okay first name birth date age phone exactly as you see here you can also have custom fields you can create your own custom fields if you want to uh, you can add here you have the editor obviously you can add uh, different elements like images okay counters trust seal for example okay 100 secure this type of things you know uh, give credibility to people you can practically add a counter if you want to uh, a privacy badge okay uh, you can add different types of boxes okay now practically if you want to delete an element here you just click on the element you have this small icon here for recycle bin and you just delete them okay it's actually very very simple to use so if you want to add another field maybe like first name okay you can add it and that's it you will have another field into your web form so as you can see it's actually very very simple uh, very very simple to use right uh, you can change the style maybe you want to change the background okay or the colors uh, the border styles okay so you can have practically some changes into the design of your templates and then you also can have a look into the thank you page okay the page that appears to somebody after practically they subscribe you can add a download button okay why because a lot of uh, a lot of landing pages or web forms are created okay they are offering a free download okay for people that subscribe to them so as you can see it's actually very very simple to use right so that's that's all about the web form then you just press save and publish you go to the next step and you can install your web form on a web page into your website you just have to copy the code and paste it in, in, into your web page on your website okay into an html web page or you can have get response to host your web form and this will be your address okay if you copy this into the browser as you see me doing here right now you will be able to see your web form right so you can practically drive traffic to this web form 
and people can subscribe to your newsletter. Uh, now, the interesting thing about forms, okay, if we go back to the to the manage forms section, or let's press again, okay, create form, you will see that here in the list builder app section, we have more options, okay, and we have different tools for, uh, for different types of web forms. For example, we have we can use a sign up box, we ha we can have a download box, fixed bar, okay, and we can have exit pop ups. Okay, exit pop-ups are very, very interesting because there are those pop-ups that some that appear before somebody exits a website. So if you have visitors on your websites that are about to leave your website, at least you you get their email and you can market to them farther along, okay, in the future with different products, okay, content marketing, you build the relationship with them and so on, but you get their email address, right? A fixed bar, you, you if you guys, uh, want to have a look for example let's let's check out the fixed bar okay this is how it will look like you can see it here okay uh, then the download box this is how it will appear okay then you have the the sign up box okay it's like a pop-up that appears to you okay on the first page of the screen uh, the scroll form okay when you are practically scrolling on a website okay after a couple of seconds uh, a scroll form appears to you right then you also have we went through the fixed bar the shake box okay it's something that draws your attention this is very very nice you also have the exit pop-up that we've talked about so, well when somebody practically it's almost uh, going out of your website the exit pop-up will appear and you can get their email address and we also have the image box okay it's practically like uh, like a pop-up that also has an image so actually these are very very interesting you can practically try them all and it depends on the business that you are running okay on the type of website that you have you can test them all and see how they work for you as you have seen you have different types of templates in uh, in all of the cases for example if you go to the scroll form okay we can try it and if we try the the scroll form you see we have different types of, uh, of templates here, okay? So this is how it will look like. You can change the colors, the image. You have different options for the scroll form. And that's about it. You can save and publish it, right? And also you have the code that you, you need to insert this code into your website so that, uh, so that this form will appear. So that's about it, guys, with the with the web forms. Uh, just create a, create a trial account on GetResponse and have a look through, through all these templates. Okay, see how it works for you. Uh, play with them a little bit. Okay, test them out. And in my opinion, it's a very very good website because it's a uh, GetResponse. It's a very good platform because they offer you all of these things that you can try out. Thank you, guys, for your attention. I will see you in our next video. Bye bye for now. Sorry in here.